if you were given this picture to color grade you probably end up with something like this but in this video i'm going to show you how to get from this to that and that's also the technique that most of your favorite photographers have been using let's begin <laughs> What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. So today I'm going to show you guys a technique mostly used in Hollywood and some top photographers that do color grading use it a lot. As a beginner, most of the time when you color grade, all you do is just change the colors anyhow and, and then you end up with a picture that has all the colors and a lot of saturation. But top photographers don't approach color grading like that. They have learned the color theory and they eliminate some colors from the picture so that some other colors will be pronounced and will stand out even in hollywood this is the technique they use they get rid of some colors and purposefully leave behind some so that those ones will meet the color theme of the movie so before we start this i'd like you to go and read on the color theory get to learn about it and then get a color wheel like this you can easily search google and you see a color wheel so this technique is you getting rid of all the colors you don't want so that the colors that you want will be pronounced in the image so we are going to work with complementary colors in this image as you can see we have a lot of greens and many other colors and since there are a lot of colors your eyes are just moving around everywhere so we are going to eliminate some colors so that just about two colors will be pronounced so in this one we are going to use green and red green and red they are complementary colors complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other in the color wheel to achieve this look we could easily use any color grading application you could use adobe camera or you could use um, capture one but i'm going to use photoshop for this and i'm going to use adjustment layers just to adjustment layers you can use as many as you want but you just need to understand the principle so the first adjustment layer is hue and saturation i'll just add my hue and saturation layer here and we'll go to each color channel and tune them down so i'll go to magentas reduce the saturation to zero go to blues reduce the saturation to zero go to cyan reduce the saturation to zero go to greens reduce the saturation not to zero but i'll take it down to about 80. now go to yellows and also reduce the saturation to about let's say 69 or 70 now this will work on all images so you need to look for the color scheme that will work for your own image like the color palette that will work for your own image so we are now at um this is red okay this is yellow and the reds this is where the skin tones is if you see so i'm not going to really mess around with the red that much because i don't want to her uh, to look like an alien so i'll just increase the reds instead and as you can see now the green the muted greens and the red are now popping out of the image instead of everything just being in your face like all the greens and all that let me just show you what we have done we move from this to this now if you are doing like a product shoot or something that you need to keep the true colors you won't apply this this only works if you are like in um trying to get some artistic look to your images then after this you can also Another thing you can do like in these yellows you can change the hue so you can mess around with the hue but i will mess around with the hue in this one the next adjustment layer i'm going to use just to fine tune it a little bit more is the selective color adjustment layer so I'll open my selective color adjustment layer then under my rates i'll mess around it a little bit more i'll just add some red to the image remember we are dealing with red and muted greens here so red yeah then we'll move over to yellows and we'll also play around with the yellows notice that's the yellow so you can just move it to the extreme to see the effect is going to add to the image
then we'll move over to blacks you know there is no all these other colors are not here in the image so we'll go to the blacks and just play around with it now since most of the colors fall within the black you can easily add any color to the black using this selective color adjustment layer but just be careful so that it won't look weird so i'll just increase my black so that it will be a little bit more contrasty and i'll go to my white and also play around it a little bit more And that's it. As you can see, we moved all the way from this to this in just a few minutes, just moving a few sliders. Now, when you allow the colors to be in the image, it's what every other person does. And at the end of the day, your image will just look like every other person's image out there. But when you select your colors and keep the ones that you love and remove the ones you don't love, those color selections will be unique to you and at the end of the day you have a unique color grip to your images and that's what the top photographers do check out most of your most admired photographers that do some artistic color grading on their images and you notice that they use this principle now this is just basic you can you can add whatever you want to this you can tweak it anyhow you want but that's just the principle and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a thing or two if you did click on that subscribe button like smash the subscribe button click on the bell icon smash the like button drop a comment down there in the comment section and see you guys in the next one